hello friends welcome back to my channel let's show you how to get the cheapest VPS available with Windows 2019 server let's jump in we will go to VPS time and this is a service which I've been using so you can get many of those services like Windows Linux so you can have Windows affordable VPS in this and which will cost you not more than $15 a month with taxes it would be $16.95 a month so you can have in $15 which is 2 vCPU, 6 GB of memory and I would prefer that these VPS can be used very much very easily and everywhere for your different works so let's jump in we can order these servers very easily and it will cost not more than $50 as I told you and they have many different locations uh, two locations in US one location in UK one location in Amsterdam and you can uh, have vanilla 2019 server as well uh, and you can have a pre-built 2019 server with all those details uploaded and everything so uh, let's have the server uh, be provisioned and what you require for this uh, uh, to be provisioned is your host name for the server and you can have those host name just readily available so you can just click on continue and let's and they will prompt you that it will take at least four hours but it does not take four hours it is very instant and very quick the service is really very good very cool and I've been using the service for last one year for my different projects and I have many VPS from them for this VPS time so let's uh, have those things done so let's go to the client area in client area it will prompt you for the username and password so I will put my user ID and password and as you can see that I have provisioned approximately 9 servers from this uh, and uh, they provide you with monthly billing as well and you can have your tickets open as well if you have any issues they will, they will provide you with all those details and everything so that is the one part so let's provision the server hello now let's provision the server so before you provision the server your hostname should be readily available with you so you should have a hostname so what we will do we will put the hostname here we will verify the information for the server which server you require or how long you require it and in which data center you require it whether it in US, UK or in Amsterdam so after selecting all those information then we have to click on checkout option once you click on the checkout option it will provide you with a warning that it will take at least four hours but you can click ok over that so it will take you to the shopping cart verify the information and pay click on the payment you have to verify the information check out as soon as you check it out it will redirect you to a different page where they will show you and the mode of payment usdt paypal or credit card or bitcoin select your payment option in my case i will select credit card i will select on pay once 
it will direct me for my credit card information so click on pay by card provide your credit card information and press next so once it has been done so they will send you an invoice uh, which will provide the details that you have surveyed and provisioning and they would be once it will be it would be provisioned they will send an email as well so the email will say that the server we got your order and they would be doing all those details once the server is provisioned they will send you another email once that email has been sent just go to your remote desktop and provide the details of the remote desktop and uh, the credentials that they have provided just put those credentials and I'm okay as administrator and the password which was being sent over the email press continue so now you are able to log in into your 2019 server So your 2019 server is ready and they have provisioned the server for you so it's a very good server with uh, 2 vcpu 6 gb of memory and uh, you can do much with this so now let us tell you how to do uh, enable two profiles on 2019 server the first thing you have to go to start then provide gp edit so your local group policy console will open so as soon as that console open just click on administrator administrator tools then you have to go to components windows components as soon as you go to the windows components then you have to search for remote desktop connections so click on remote desktop connections then after then you have to click on remote desktop uh, then as soon as you click on the third option just click on connections so in the connections you have to search for the limit number of connections just double click the limit number of connections put it enable put two as you can have two connections click on apply press ok then the most important part is you have to click on now you have to click on restricted remote desktop double click make it disable press apply press ok now you would be having now you can easily create or you can easily two simultaneous connections over or the server is enabled and now the most important part is you have to uh, create two user account if it's a standalone server that you are using it for then you have to go to the control panel just type control panel go to the control panel go to user accounts click on user accounts once you are into the user account then you have to create two user accounts then add user account you can make as as many as user account but for this video purpose we are creating only two user account user one you can put any password you have to reconfirm the password and you have to put something for the remembrance purpose so your first user account has been created now you have to go create your second user account you have to repeat the same process as you have done for the user one so once you have created the second user account it is good to go so once a user account is being created now you have to click on 
change user type click on the administrator change account type and you have to repeat the process for the user 2 as well you have to click on the same put it to the administrator change the user type now it is all good now you can easily log in with two simultaneous connections with user 1 and user 2 over this 2019 server don't forget to subscribe our channel for more of these videos